Oh, hey guys, it's Rubble41. Welcome back to another WWE tutorial, homemade, whatever kind of video. Thank you so much for all the support, guys. Smash the like button, subscribe, and notifications turn on. Check out the top right hand corner of this video for more awesome custom tutorial jobs that you can do for your WWE action figures and your fig fed. So, I was watching a lot of, uh, obviously, a lot of WWE stuff and a lot of like CCW stuff like that, and uh, I was like, wait a minute. Jack's made a lot of like breakable stuff, so like, let me show you. For example, like the WF uh, Backstage Mayhem playset, you know, you got the breakable wall, and there's a lot of cool features on this playset. Then obviously later down the road, Mattel made something like the this huge playset that's got like breakable lockers and stuff. But I don't really see any like breakable windows, you know. And I made a, I made a backstage playset not too long ago uh, on this channel, and uh, you guys seem to love it. So I have a really good idea. Let's make a WWF WWE custom backstage tutorial with breakable windows and a breakable wall. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Very very cheap as well. Okay, peeps, we got the four test figures here. We got Braun Strowman, we got Ambrose, we got Breath the Hitman Hart, and of course, Brock Lesnar. So, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys this tutorial. So what you're going to need, I suggest you have a box cutter, but because Airborne's still goddamn stupid, he forgot where his box cutter is. So he's going to use a razor. Be very careful. And um, you're also going to need some scissors, aka scissors. You're going to need some duct tape. You're going to need some cardboard pieces that are extra. You're going to need like some sort of cardboard box like this, or just regular cardboard box will work, but I figured out this is like easier to play in. It's way easier to move your hands in for a fig fat and all that. And obviously, you're going to need some hot glue. And guys, that is literally all you need besides a, you also need a Sharpie. If you want to decorate, you can. Um, obviously, I didn't decorate because of the, you, you can you know what's packaging or post office, uh, a post office box or whatever. And last but not least, you're going to need some sort of, uh, this is actually just a uh, piece of plastic, clear plastic off a um, old package. Uh, toy package that I had. You can cut them off of your WWE figures um, when the pe when the figures come out of the packaging. There's a lot of places to find this stuff. So, that's all you're going to need. So, let's go ahead and get right into this tutorial, guys. Obviously, i got to wait for the hot glue to warm up. And let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, now remember, I'm not also going to decorate this. This is your, you know, that's your guys' job. You guys can decorate them. I'm just going to show you guys how to do the works of it, the easy stuff, or the hardcore stuff. Anyway, so, you're going to need a, a piece of a cardboard about this big. Um, doesn't matter. However big you want your window to be. Now, I'm going to make, make a breakable window where they can get thrown through. And I'm going to make a breakable window where it can actually pop out of the actual play set. So, what you're going to do, so what you're gonna do is you're going to grab this piece of cardboard. You're going to grab your razor blade or, you know, I suggest, again, highly recommend, uh, I highly recommend, uh, you know, box cutter. But you're going to take this, you're not going to want to cut too close to the edges here because you want the cardboard to obviously be strong for the figures to go through. So you're going to like probably make about, grab your Sharpie if you want, it makes it easier. And you're going to want to like cut a little bit like this, all the way down, like so. Make like a little square, just so it's inside of the um, box, or the box piece. So you can see there's a lot of room, there's a lot of room. So you're going to cut this little square out. And that's where uh, it's going to be actually your window. Now, again, guys, I don't recommend this. This box, uh, this razor blade is very sharp. It's almost like an old school uh, razor blade for, you know, when you're wrestling and all that. You cut yourself above the brow. Just kidding. Don't do that. That's <laughs> Anyway, so let's go ahead and just cut this little piece out. You guys can see me do that right there. Um, doesn't matter if you get, like, no, you don't have to be directly on the lines, okay? Like, it doesn't have to be perfect, but bam. And don't cut your finger either. So, it should be. You want to make sure it's cut all the way through as well. So, got to redo it um, over and over again. This is probably not the safest way. Don't try it this way, people. Don't try it with a razor blade because you probably will cut yourself. So, be careful, seriously. So, I'm going to just go ahead and retrace that. Just kind of keep cutting it over and over again until it actually pops out and goes to the other side. Um, and again, this razor blade is very sharp. So, obviously, bam. It's like the razor's edge. All right. Cool. So, now... You got your little window popped out. You can either have it like this on the playset or have it like this as a man. I'm going to show you how to make the actual breakable glass. So you're going to want to take, like, not the plexiglass, but whatever the hell this is, like this clear plastic piece. And you're going to want to, like, kind of hover it over like that. Get a guesstimate of what you need. You, again, you don't want it to, you're just going to want little pieces of it um, around the edges. You're not going to want to cover the whole thing because it's going to look like poop. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. We're going to have to cut a piece out and uh, I'll show you guys what else to do next. So get like a real long thin piece like this, okay? 
I want to plop it over there. See how it like kind of looks like a window, right? Okay. So and then you're gonna cut the access off, um, like so. Any kind of access again, guys. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? It's not. You don't gotta be a perfectionist about it. But this is the, now this is the best part. So now you have this little piece of glass. Believe it or not, now you're gonna now you're gonna believe it or not you're gonna cut it in like a breakable breakable fashion here you're gonna cut it up like this like it just got shattered you, know, you got to make it look like it, it's, it's broken glass right so it's kind of looks like broken glass um, so it's like this right so now you're gonna actually take these two pieces now if you look that looks like a shattered window right that looks like a broken window so now you're gonna actually super glue or super glue hot glue whatever you want I use hot glue because it's take it's way easier and it's way quicker to dry and you're gonna go ahead and put it right there on the side like that and then there's your breakable window. So let me go ahead and do that for you guys. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, grab it over here. We're gonna have these two pieces. You can see the two broken pieces of glass. And then you're gonna go ahead and grab your hot glue gun, like so. You're gonna put a little bit on the edge. This is another reason why I wanted you guys to have to have a lot of room. Because, and you're also gonna want it, put it on there very quickly. Let it dry really quick. Alrighty. And um, you're gonna want to again. You don't want to overlap it. So you can see that piece is looking like it's a broken window. And you're gonna have this other piece as well over here. And I'm waiting a long time to do this for you guys. Um, I've been waiting a long time because I wanted to uh, do this for a long time, but I didn't have the equipment to do it. I didn't have my box cutter and all that. Now again, you can also um, put more glue if you want more glue here it doesn't matter um put a little bit more glue up here if you want to to make it more sturdier but i'm only doing this to show you guys um how to you know make a breakable window for your this this part of the playset. set if you think you're gonna need more hot glue or super glue just put more glue on there on the edges um you know and now the glass should be able to you know you should be able to smash your figure's head through the glass so obviously when it's dry i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that and this piece is actually going to be super uh, super glued or hot glued right into the actual um, playset itself. Okay, enough for the breakable window part. I added a little bit more hot glue. Let's go ahead and get to the breakable um, wall. So obviously, big sturdy box, something like this. You're gonna wanna use the back piece, okay? You're not gonna want, again, you're gonna have to use your razor blade to cut. This part's gotta be the goddamn easiest part for your fig fed and for all that other stuff because it looks really cool and it always works. So same thing, same concept. What you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your box around Bam, and no, there's no cheese angles in here. Ha, okay, so you're gonna have to go ahead and grab a Sharpie marker, pen, pencil, whatever you want to see, um, and you're gonna go ahead and make, this is gonna be a big piece, guys, so we're gonna have to make sure this square is really big um, because you want your figures to go ram through a wall, you know? So let's go ahead and just uh, draw a breakable spot. Bam, like so. So that's that, that terrible square that I just made. Um, <laughs> that's gonna be cut out with your razor blade. Let's that, take a shot. Razor blade um, or box cutter or scissors. Scissors, whatever you wanna call it. So let's go ahead and cut this piece out. Okay, so this is again, just very carefully. This one's gonna be easier to actually cut because it's gonna be a lot thicker piece. So again, just be very careful. Do not cut yourself. Um, and again, doing doing this one-handed here with oh, this is very dangerous people okay and now I'm actually gonna go right ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and use the scissors okay people I got this popped out uh, obviously this pops out very easily right just like so not a problem at all and guess what this thing can go back in very easily now again these are not gonna last like it'll last you like maybe like two years if you if you treat it right you know take care of it right um, but this this little piece right here can legitimately just go right back in and then they can get break um, break out eat a piece of cake so by God Almighty you know you're gonna go ahead and put this right back in here and uh, it'll pop right out a piece of cake and obviously you're not gonna want to put it all the way in that's what she said. But anyway, yeah, there you go. So there's your breakable wall piece. Probably one of the easiest parts of the actual playset. So now, if you go ahead and grab your um, figures and you go like this, oh, good God. No, oh, I just threw them right to the side of the steel wall. See, so it works beautifully. And it fits right back in there like so. Now let's go ahead and get to the window, the other window. 
So you got this little breakable window here, and I'm gonna show you guys how this works after 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 I take a shot after I'm done with the video. And uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut another side of the wall. This is optional; you don't have to. But um, if you want a breakable window where it stays inside the place that like that wall where it doesn't move, then this is the way to go. But if you want an actual window, like if you want to be like Triple H and go to somebody's house and throw them through their front window, like they did with Randy Orton, then this is the way to do it. Note to self: Do not make m more than one cut on one side of the wall because you don't want your box to break. Same concept as the big part of the wall. You're going to want to draw a square, a rectangle, whatever you guys want to draw, a triangle for God's sake, if you want to, and you're going to want to cut it out. But this time, you're not going to worry about this cardboard piece. You're just going to chuck it. Terrible cutting. I apologize. But you're going to go ahead and pull this out right now, like so. So, screw that piece. You don't need it, right? You're going to take the rest of this little plexiglass, whatever they want to call it, the little piece of plastic, the clear plastic, and you're going to want to, again, measure it and just double check um, and see. This time, you're actually going to need duct tape, okay? You're going to need duct tape or any kind of tape so the window can open up, okay? So now you have, believe it or not, you can see the glass right there. Now you have that fake glass, okay? And it's kind of measured out very well. Now you're just gonna grab a little bit of a duct tape, like so, and you're gonna wanna attach it to this piece right here. So there you go, there's your window, right? Now the best part about this is, now when you have your figure, go, oh! He just smashes head to that solid steel window! And if you look from this side, you know, that looks awesome, right? That looks badassery. The, you don't have to worry about re-gluing anything. The plastic just sticks there um, with the duct tape there. You don't have to worry about re-gluing, you know, messing up your fig fed or anything like that. And the window goes right back to where it was, right back to its original state there. So, and it looks awesome. So now let's go ahead and show you guys the piece of resistance, this uh, breakable window piece. Pretty cool. I can see myself. Hi. Okay. But yeah. So again, what you're going to, this time you're going to use the hot glue gun. You're going to go ahead and, um, so you're going to cut as your um, the other side of the wall and uh, we're gonna actually don't again I'll show you guys I, I don't want to be confusing because remember this window is not gonna be broken out it's actually not it's not actually gonna fall out like this one right here this window is just gonna be like so where their head can get smashed in or something like that cool for your fig fed so you're gonna take this and you're gonna kind of put it up against the, the, the box here and you're gonna kind of guesstimate or actually measure if you want to um, that little square or rectangle uh, plexiglass piece and um, you're gonna make a cut you're not gonna want to make the cut up to here to here you're gonna want to make the cut from inside to inside so I'll show you guys what I'm talking about Probably very confusing but so pretty much you're gonna make a hole from here to here or however big you made your window breakable from here to here there to there you know what I'm saying okay okay so as you guys can see if I put this window up against here it's got you know where the breakable part is. I traced it. I actually I just put it up against here and I looked at that and kind of guesstimated. So again, you're only going to make the inside of the hole like so. And then you're going to go ahead and cut this piece out of the box. So again, this little piece is going to be cut out right about now. Bada bing, bada boom, done. Now you're going to take your little uh, broken window, quote unquote, and uh, kind of you know kind of want to push it together like that. So this way it's kind of puffed out a little bit. Okay. And uh, again, you're gonna have to add more super glue or whatever kind of glue you want, hot glue, if, if needed. And then now what you're gonna do is you're going to grab this piece and you're going to hot glue it right over that window piece like that. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm showing you. I don't know if you guys could see it or not. That's why I kinda, so like that. So you're gonna super glue it or hot glue it just like that over that piece. And uh, let's do that right now. And also, honestly, best way to do it is tip the box over. Um, and remember, you're gonna want it so where the pressure is pointed out. If you don't want to go it inside, you want it to make sure it's pointed out. So this way, um, so when the figure's head gets pushed through the window, it's gonna look like that. Okay. So again, you're gonna want it like this then. So, or no, I'm gonna have to want to super glue it. Uh, hold on one second. Just like this. So push it down. You're gonna grab your handy dandy hot glue gun. So if you guys can see that really quick. Okay. And you're gonna want to just. Put glue, hot glue, all around. And this one's okay. You can go ahead and use as much hot glue as possible with this piece because you're going to want to make it sturdy. So let's go ahead and put it around, push it down, hold it. And there is your breakable window. 
So now that well, that's dry, it's gonna look really awesome. And uh, it's gonna look like it's a busted window. Obviously, it's not, it doesn't look it right now because you can't see it, but it does look like a breakable window. So it is pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. So you got a breakable window here, you got a breakable window there where you can put your figure through. You can actually throw your figure out this window and you can break them through the wall. So I think that's a really cool concept. I thought that was a really good idea. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's go ahead and show you guys what it's gonna look like when you have accessories and figs to go with it. So you can kind of make it like a little like a lounging area, regular room, break room, whatever you want to make it, depending on how many accessories you have and all that other stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's gonna look really cool for a fig fed, uh, especially like if you have like a couch right here that's actually perfectly aligned. So it looks like there's a window right there. You can make it somebody's house, whatever you guys want for your fig fed. You can make it whatever you want with the decorations. So now let's go ahead and show you guys some serious total play for this. Good God Almighty! Brock Lesnar's broke in to Brett the Hitman Hart's house. What? Oh, he put him through a solid steel couch. Damn it! No, don't do it! Oh, he just he threw him through a window. Damn it! He just broke his window. But now Ambrose, Ambrose is under the house match. And now he's going to drive his head through that solid steel window. And oh, God almighty. His head just got thrown through that solid steel window. Good God almighty. Holy crap, somebody get the EMTs here. Or you can have him go through this way. Oh, he just crashed. He just crashed through that solid steel window. He had a family. So there's multiple ways you can use this. Wait a minute. Oh, he just threw him through the solid steel wall. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video. I'm sorry it was 16 minutes long, but I showed you guys so many cool accessories you can do and make at home, breakable windows and breakable walls, and all out of a cardboard box, uh, some tape, some uh, hot glue, not a problem at all. Smash the like button if you want more tutorials like this, guys. Subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss an upload, and you guys don't forget to stay awesome. See you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome playset review slash custom.